welcome aboard the Stena Hollandica or the Stena Britannica. I'm actually not sure which ship I'm on, but this is a five hour ferry ride from Holland to England. Past 24 or 48, or I'm losing count, hours uh, have involved arriving back to Dusseldorf from St. Louis, getting the motorcycle, which is parked at the Dusseldorf airport, and then driving four hours to the Hague, or the Hague, or Den Haag, or any of the 19 iterations of its name's pronunciation. I realized that, that was too ambitious. The plan was to hit the road and head straight to Den Haag today, but jet lag hit me like a ton of bricks, predictably. I pulled over on the side of the road somewhere in central Netherlands in order to take a nap, and I found a place that's called the Zandenmeer. It's actually kind of cool. Hey, cool. Got picnics here, there's a little beach over there, a little barbecues. Taking a nap in a park is not something that I had planned for this trip, but wholeheartedly recommend. By the way, I eventually made it. The Hague is a cool little city on the Dutch coast, about an hour from Amsterdam, and personally, I recommend staying there if you're going to even go to Amsterdam, because it's only like a 45 minute train ride, I think, an hour train ride roughly, which is an easy trip to make. You know, so you stay in The Hague, wake up in the morning, take the train to Amsterdam, go do whatever around Amsterdam, take the train back to The Hague, spending like an average price on hotels rather than Amsterdam hotel prices which are out of this galaxy. That's not to say that The Hague doesn't have things to see on its own. Uh, the city itself is home to the International Court of Justice and there's a whole series of museums and sites to see. It's also a hugely international city. There are a lot of universities there so it's a university town. Last time I was there I stayed at a hostel that had live jazz music. This time I stayed there I met up with a friend. So I'm here with Philip from Sweden, from south of Nords. What's it called? <laughs> Nordica, I think. Yeah, it sounds Chinese. And it's spelled, I'm pretty sure, with like five X's in a row. We're here in Schwenningen. What is it? Schwenningen. Schwenningen. Something like that. Technically in the Hague. In the Hague. Okay, so it's the city that I guess was absorbed by the Hague. They still want to be separate, and different. So there's like a, an interesting culture because. It's like the coast town with a really cool set of seafront property. There's that courthouse with a bunch of scenery around it. We're in a pretty cool little neighborhood here. You fit right in with your fashion. <laughs> Philip is a very sharp dude, whereas here I am, honestly, a guy with just a black t shirt. I'm borrowing a trendy denim jacket, which Philip is teaching me is coming back, which you got in Madrid, mm -hmm. which I'll be in in like two weeks. So you have the opportunity to pick up another one. You might just see more denim jackets. He and his stylish ways actually introduced me to some of his friends and this was a couch surfing type of trip. If you're not familiar with it, couch surfing is a website where you can sign up and let's say you want to go to the Hague. You, as a traveler, submit a request to all the hosts in the Hague and make it convincing because these people are considering whether or not to let you stay in their home for free. Free here meaning that there's sort of an unspoken rule that you, you bring something of value, whether that's a bottle of wine or a skill that you can teach the host. It's generally a more personal type of traveling experience. You know, you meet the locals or maybe you even meet semi-permanent traveler residents, you know, and that's who all these people were. None of the people that I hung out with were from the Hague. They all just came from different parts of the globe. There was a bunch of travelers having a few beers, just hanging out and exchanging stories, which was a really valuable experience. So I woke up this morning and I caught this ferry, which was the first time that I'd driven a vehicle on a ferry. That was a trip. Right, right behind this gray car. <laughs> right here. Oh yeah, I can do that, yeah, all right. So I hope that I tied that bike down well enough and I'm not gonna go below decks when we arrive and find a broken shell of my former motorcycle. 